All right, today we're going to see how long this Presto heat dish 1000 watt heater will run from this 48 volt 100 amp hour battery. All right, so I've got this 48 volt battery hooked up to my Victron inverter and then going into the Presto heat dish. So this is one of those radiant kind of heaters that uh, focuses the heat onto you and it's supposed to be more efficient. I actually just bought it so I haven't really used it a whole lot but I like the concept of it. It's not really super cold today. It's, let's see in here in the room Oh, if I can do it without my dog getting in the way. We're showing 58, 59. He loves this thing like it's, <laughs> he's like a little cat with it. Uh, so let's check the outside. <laughs> and so outside, let's see if I can, there we go. So the tree here is showing 55. 50 over here in the shadows. So around 50-ish degrees outside. The sun just went down like about an hour ago. So it's gonna get much colder. Let's go ahead and start the test. Let's put this on the ground. That way it's not around a bunch of stuff that it could possibly melt. Let's see, I've got the control set to medium. Uh, on this thing, it says in the manual, if you have it on high, it'll just stay on constantly. But if you have it on any of these other settings, it cycles on and off. So it runs a thousand watts, then off, zero watts, a thousand watts, kind of like your stove burners. It is 6.59, December 31st. So let's go ahead and turn on the inverter. And this thing, I just saw a little light come on down here. And I do feel a little bit of heat coming on now. Let's check the battery. So we're pulling out 22.7 uh, amps out of the battery. Yeah, so the app on the battery shows uh, 1,186 watts coming out. And I can definitely feel the heat now. That thing, <laughs> whoo! That really aims the heat towards the subject. So if it's aimed at you, it's gonna be heating you. But yeah, that feels fantastic. All right, well, I'm just gonna let this guy run and then we'll check on it periodically. Okay guys, so it's now 10.02, still December 31st. And it definitely is much colder outside. We'll get some temperature readings here in a minute, but let's go inside and see where we're at. All right, still running. It's definitely warmer inside here. There's no doubt about that. Okay. And it cycled off just now. I heard it click. So it's starting to kind of dim down. Oh, and I heard it come back on. So now it's back. All right, and um, we are at 56% left. Let's check our temperatures in here. Let's get the same spot that we had before. All right, so we're showing 61 right there. Let's try this. So we got 69 there. So that's definitely like where this is aimed at. Yeah, it's definitely when you walk in front of this thing, it just directs that heat right onto you. Okay, so let's go check the temps outside. It's definitely colder. I'll check right outside the door. Let's see here. Why is my light not working on this thing? 
anyways, I guess if you can see that, it says 49 right there, right outside the door. And then we go outside, outside, and we get, yeah, still 49. So basically the same temp outside the door as it is outside. Well, if I can get it, there we go. 46 right there. <laughs> There's 41. So yeah, in the 40s outside, And let's see here. We actually got 70 right up here, 72, 73, 60 right there. All right, guys, I'm gonna let this continue on and I'll be back. All right, it is 11.56. And let's get some temps outside right now. So we're, sh yeah, well, there's 37 right there. <laughs> it's a little bit colder on the tree, about 45. We got 44 right there. And, oh, we are down to 29%. Uh, let's check this wall. We got 58. Oh, doggy is trying to get my laser again. <laughs> Let's check this. We got 65. And I think when we hit 12, I'm going to pause the test because I want to go to bed. <laughs> And I don't want to just stay up for several more hours or however long it's going to be because I'm tired. And it's actually going to be New Year's at 12. <laughs> so it'll be 2025. But I'll wake up in the morning and I'll turn it back on and we'll run the rest of it out and see how much longer we have. It'll be plenty cold. It actually should be even more cold, I don't know, seven or, seven or eight in the morning or something like that. Okay, we're at 11.59. There we go, Happy New Year's, guys. <laughs> so January 1st, 2025. And uh, yeah, we're still at 29%. So let's go ahead and we'll shut the inverter off for right now. And that'll pause the test. This will stay at 29%. Uh, the heater is off. And I'll get up in the morning and we'll resume. All right. Good morning. It is 8.04, January 1st. Let's see what our temps are out here this morning. All right, so we're showing 35 Our tree is 40. Interesting how much heat the tree still retains. <laughs> Our wall here on the outside of the door is 41. Doggy's trying to get the um, laser. <laughs> it's actually warmer in here still than it is outside. So we've retained a little heat. All right, so we're showing 50 on this wall. We're showing 50 there as well. And 50. So it's 50 degrees in here all the way around. So what I'm actually thinking about doing, let's plug this into the grid and not restart the test just yet. Let's preheat the room in here just a little bit. So we can kind of start off where we left off since it's, you know, it's cooled down in here significantly. Uh, so let's go ahead and unplug this guy from the inverter. 
and then plug him into my house power. There we go. And so he's back on. So we'll let this run just for a little bit and kind of preheat this room. And then we'll plug him back into the battery and continue the test. All right, so we are now at 8.59 and we have warmed up the room. Let's see, we're at about, I don't know, 55. Yeah, there's 59 right there where the, the dish is pointed. It is now plugged in to my inverter so we'll go ahead and officially resume the test by turning the inverter on. All right. So now we are back on the battery power. And it is exactly 9 a.m. All right, so I'll let that continue on and I'll be back. All right, so it is now 10 a.m. So we've got a total of six hours runtime on the battery. Let's go in and check. Uh, we are still running in here. And we're at 13% left on the battery. Can you see that? There we go. 13%. So six hours in total runtime on battery so far and we've got 13% left all right I'll just let it continue on and I'll be back all right guys so we're at zero percent here but it's still going it's still cycling on and off and we are at 1034 so it's coming up on completion pretty soon here so I'm gonna just kind of watch it closely to see where it finally stops at okay so actually i think it is completely done now i haven't seen it cycle back on we're still at zero percent over here i believe the inverter has turned off so 1034 i think was the last time i saw it cycle all right so there you go we got around about six hours and 34 minutes runtime with this heater on medium running from this 100 amp hour 48 volt rack mount battery so i think that's going to wrap up the video let me know what you think about this little experiment here thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one